Let's get comfortable and let's talk about population health. Where if you've been paying attention, for example, Italy has officially banned the production of lab-grown food in their country. Now talk about the respect and pride of consumption. Russia, in the last two decades, banned unhealthiness imported into their country. Where if you paid attention to their youth, 20 years down, for example, male and female, you will see how naturally healthy they all look. Look at Mexico throughout COVID. One day alone, they kicked out 550,000 boxes of sugary cereal back to the unhealthy manufacturers because they forewarned them to stop marketing unhealthiness to their children. Look at the amount of diabetes that there's in reservations in Canada, for example. And I want you to pay attention to lifestyle because it doesn't matter anywhere geographic in the world, right? Pay attention, it all has to do with lifestyle. Look at the Mediterranean, look at the Italians, La France, La Portugal, look at Palestine, Israel. I can keep going on here. Those countries, Greece, etc., you, your ancestors were right. Your ancestors were right on their ingredients and their consumptions and their lifestyles, right? In Canada, in the US, in Europe, whether you're in Africa, there are those that follow a lifestyle. They don't live the Western lifestyle. I don't live the Western lifestyle. And I understand it now. I understand the healthiness of lifestyle. Hence, I got rid of all my medical conditions. <laughs> Not, I, I still have a hell of a challenge ahead of me, but I got rid of so many of them. Why? Because I follow the lifestyle and I care about the ingredients that I put into my body. I understand the ingredients. I understand what I put into my body is to fuel me. Not just the um num nums, it's to fuel me. There's a book out there called The Oldest Cure in the World. Take a moment and read it. Listen to the audio book if you have to. It just take the last 200 years alone. Forget the thousands of years of literature. Forget that, that <laughs> they used to call it the efficient surgery without the surgeon fasting, right? In the old literatures, it was known as the inefficient surgery without, without the doctors, without the surgery, without anything just specific fasting and if you look at what fasting does to the body and just in the last 200 years of of research on that and yet it's not taught in school autophagy is not taught in school right would you buy anything any piece of equipment without an operation manual yet you're born and you're, you're you go through life not even knowing what autophagy is the overwhelming majority of anybody listening to this podcast right now this video has no clue what autophagy is, but that entire system is built within you. You're born with it and you don't know about it. So I might sound passionate because I am. It's all about the consumption. It's all about the ingredients, the overwhelming majority. Yes, you have to stay strong. Yes, you stay, have to stay physically vibrant through fitness and exerting energy. Exert energy in a fastest state. The documentation is there. The science is there. But I'm passionate because I have pride for countries that have governance, that are protecting their population and their societies through population health. I'm Canadian. If I was a politician, if I was a federal minister, I would work with provincial ministers. I'd be a, I would want population health because I would work with the schools. I would work with the hospitals. I would work, you know, there's certain groups that are making all the money but I would work with all those other groups, the lifestyle medicine, the holistic medicine, the, the, the fitness centers, everybody on population health, right? Because there's a lot of wealth in it. There's wealth for family, there's wealth for community, there's wealth for the employers, there's wealth for the owners, there's wealth for marriages, there's wealth for individuals. There's so much wealth in the population when the population is healthier, as opposed to where we are today, if you look at the mental health issues that we have in this, in this around the world today, pay attention to the consumption of those populations. Big healthy hugs from me to you. Pay attention to the consumptions and look at them as you're fueling your body and mind. Jean-Guy Bourguignon, big loving hugs from me to you.